couple guys yesterday like the level in game three but still feel there's another level for this team to get to uh, do you agree with that and what might that level mean for this group yeah i thought it was better i thought we were uh, harder in battles um obviously committed to what we wanted to do a little bit more um i think we got uh, obviously a better result than we got in, in game two but um I think a positive is we've been been in all the games, um, even the one we lost. But uh, same time, uh, so far, special teams have been a been a factor. So I'm sure both sides are, are going to be talking about it, trying to take less penalties, keep the other power play off the ice, and um, try and win it five on five. Probably, probably goes without saying, but to be in these games, how big has Jonas has played been between the pipes to kind of keep yeah, the games tight? Yeah, he's been huge. Uh, when we've needed saves, he's he's given it to us um, very timely. Um, obviously, they're, uh, they got some very, very high talented players, so they're going to get some chances, um, you know, as the series and games go on here still. So um, we need him to keep doing what he's doing. He's given us that, uh, that extra layer of comfort that we've needed. Has the level of physicality increased in the three games? I mean, I think it's always been there, obviously, um, through the series last year, through all the games this year. But, um, I mean, this time of year it gets physical, um, you know, We've, we've created a pretty good rivalry with them, so obviously the games have been um, hard fought and heavy, but I think, I mean, they've, they've been the same kind of all three, I think. I don't think it's necessarily changed a whole lot. It's been it's been high pretty much right from the start, and I'm, you know we, we intend that it's probably going to stay that way. Team of the Holes have had a lot of success uh, keeping McDavid off the score sheet, particularly at 5-on-5. Five five. Is there any, maybe one key area you guys have found a lot of success in, in doing that? So I, I mean, I think uh, Corfi's been a big part of that. Obviously, he's had some chances that Corfi shut down. Um, I mean, he's the, he's the best player in the world for a reason. So um, it's it's a tough task to to keep him off the score sheet five on five. Um, and something that you got to you know try and play hard on him, try and take his time and space away, um, give him as little looks as as he can. And obviously, power play is um, you know one area that you got to try and um, find a way. But they got uh, five different threats on the unit, so it's trying to figure out how to how to shut them down. But um, Obviously, if we want to want to keep going and, and winning games, we got to you know keep that up and, and figure out how to slow down their power play. You and Drew obviously play the opposition's best players every night. How important is the five-man unit when defending top lines and top two pairings like that? Yeah, I think it takes it takes everyone. Obviously, they can help by um, you know if we're we're in the ozone, we're playing down low. Obviously, they got to defend that. That helps us, makes our job a little easier. Um, but I, I think, um, you know, especially our top six when they're matched with, with guys like that, they, they have good track, good sword outs coming back into our end. They're, they're good down low like we are, so it makes it uh, easier for us. And, you know, you kind of defend as a group of five rather than, uh, than just a single guy.